Those last two meters underwater seemed to be never ending. The pressure on my head was almost unbearable, as if my eyes were about to pop out of their sockets. I struggled to get myself onto the edge of the pool, and to everyone's horror, I immediately lost consciousness. When I came to, I was in the hospital. I was six years old. In the weeks that followed, I had countless of examinations. It turns out I had a vascular disease of the spinal cord. In other words, I had too much blood in my brain. They put a drain in my head and tried to remove the excess. But soon after that, I fainted another two times. After further extensive examination, the doctors told me I had abnormal blood vessels, which were impacted when I did physical activities, such as swimming underwater. I had two options, either live with it and hope I wouldn't have a fetal bleeding, or have high-risk surgery to try and fix the problem. After many discussions and following the advice of my doctors, I decided to go through with the operation. When I woke up after the surgery, everything seemed to have gone well, until the doctor tested my legs and I couldn't feel anything. As it turned out, I had a spinal cord injury and I would be wheelchair bound for the rest of my life. Of course, I was shocked, sad, and scared when I found out, but the fact that I was so young definitely made it easier to accept. As a child, I'd always spend much time playing outside, and I still wanted to do this, even in a wheelchair. I didn't want anything to stop me. I didn't feel sorry for myself. I saw my wheelchair as something that gave me strength, and I wanted to show people I was still me. Playing sports was a good challenge to prove this. Not that it was easy. I can't count how many times I fell out of my chair. Just like everyone else, I had to overcome physical challenges to get better. It took a lot of hard work, accepting my losses, overcoming injuries, and turning frustration into determination. At school, I was often included in games without a problem. No one treated me differently. But when puberty started, things began to get a bit more difficult, especially when my friends started going out. I didn't feel like being stared at or having someone's butt in my face when in a club. Playing sports was a great distraction for me. I decided to join a basketball club and trained a lot, both during the week and on the weekends. After two years, I was invited to play in the Dutch Junior National Basketball Team and two seasons later, I was playing for the Dutch national wheelchair team with whom I won a gold medal at the 1997 European Championship. My other passion was tennis, which I was also good at. There came a point where I couldn't keep playing both sports alongside my study, and so I had to choose. I ended up choosing tennis because there I could focus entirely on myself and was solely responsible for my own success. I dreamt of playing on the most famous tennis courts in the world, being number one and earning a medal at the Paralympics. Every time I won a match, I set a new goal for myself. Sometimes I had to miss classes or exams, but my professors were extremely supportive. On the day I won my first Grand Slam at the US Open in 1998, they were just as excited as I was. I am so thankful for my parents. They have always supported me, no matter what. They taught me to stay positive and believe in myself every day. Along with the titles, records and awards that I have received, I have also met exceptional athletes such as Johan Cruyff, Richard Krajicek, Roger Federer, and many more. They taught me that you can use sport as a platform to help motivate young people in sport, regardless of any disabilities. Playing sports makes you stronger it helps you build self-confidence and self-reliance. And it doesn't take seven gold Paralympic medals to make this happen. It applies to everyone. With all the experience I gained over the years, and with the same drive I had always prepared myself to play tennis, I established the Esther Vergeer Foundation. Our mission is to give all children with physical disabilities the chance to sport normally like every other child. The focus and priority is that children have fun while playing. The Join the Club initiative within the foundation ensures that kids find their place within the foundation 
and feel supported in an environment that is prepared to train and develop children with disabilities in a safe and enjoyable way. The Esther Foundation makes sports wheelchairs available, organizes train the trainer sessions, gives wheelchair mobility trainings and aims to inform both parents and children. My greatest sports hero is Johan Cruyff. He once said, if you never try, you'll never know, which I completely agree with. If an opportunity comes your way, no matter how big or small, you have to give it a go. Otherwise, you'll never know what your full potential can be. My name is Esther Vergeer, multiple Paralympic champion wheelchair tennis, winner of 21 Grand Slam finals and 23 double titles, chef de mission of the Netherlands Paralympic team in Tokyo and Beijing, and founder of the Esther Vergeer Foundation. The Esther Vergeer Foundation is always looking for volunteers and donations to support and fund our projects. For just one euro, you can make the difference in someone else's life. Are you interested or would you like to donate? Please visit www.estervergeerfoundation.nl to find out more.